worry too much. I'll be fine. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert, and when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand, but you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Fate is the name. Off I keep the inn. And good travels. <laughs> Farewell, yeah. mm -hmm. Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Trust me. Look after we yourself, have guys. To say to You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to keep me. Keep back, citizen. Here. I have important business I must attend to. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Mo oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I... Trust me. We have nothing to say to one another. You must be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. Trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. Make yourself useful and working hard gives a man reason for drinking hard. Well, her name's Olda. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. I think there's a chunk of ice where her heart ought to be. Hard to say. It's ancient. That much we know for sure. It was here long before the town itself. I just hope the bridge survives the war. It's the only place you can cross the Karth River for a long way in either direction. Could be if one side wants to keep the other from coming across, they might try to knock it down. Damn right it has. The man's never been so high. 
At least not since I built the new mill. All right then. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. And you've earned your payment, though the bonus is forfeit, as I'm sure you're aware. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero, there's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ah! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. What about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood? And Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. As did by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astrid may well be dead if not for you. She's right. Have you found something? 
Good. Good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? figured Astrid would send you. Oh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little Chester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood.
me. I surrender. <laughs> Traitor? Me? <laughs> Silly assassin. So confused. So confused. And they say I'm mad. If I'm a traitor, so are you. Have you not heard the maiden's voice? Are you not the listener? So walk away. Let poor Cicero live. Tell Astrid you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. A tiny white lie for a dark assassin.
Hornbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Right then. Need something? Hello, Tidbit. Brother? So, is it true? You must be talking about the caravan job. By Sithis, you slew everyone. Well, except that one. He kept alive to serve as a witness. Is your wickedness or your skin? It's Let been quite a boon, looking like a child. There is no it's as rewarding as it is dangerous. Let's see what I can show you. Until next time, brother. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> But not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage, so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Yes, Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the Gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago, to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart kept the gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. 
probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. hear this from me, but we've uncovered a plot to kill the Emperor. It gets better. The ringleader. One of the Emperor's own elite guard. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Don't mind the dogs, they get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Be 
room's been clean. My Thonar silver gun. Consider yourself lucky. Go fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. Been warned, outsider. I'm the Jarl's personal blacksmith, but that doesn't mean I can't sell you a few pieces. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Sisters are communing with the Bella. They can't be disturbed. You'll have to come back another time. I'm sorry. The Temple of Debella is closed. You can receive your... A heathen. Lovely. Oh, don't put on that angry look. I'm just teasing you. Debella is the divine of beauty. She is a patron deity to artists and bards and those who seek life's simple pleasures. The temple offers her blessings to pilgrims and instruction in enjoying all life has to offer. Well, you are lovely to look at, and there's so many things I could teach you, but I'm afraid the temple isn't taking in new students. Well, you are lovely to look at. The sister... You'll have to come back another time. What do you need? Stormcloaks try to break into this camp. Let me know if you need anything, 
Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging. This old place? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granda. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it, after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Anything you need, just holler. Beds and beer are both lousy, you ask me. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. All right, then. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. What? The Emperor? But I, I... Oh, oh by the gods. No, 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 you can't do this. You can't. Force? <laughs> Shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition from another time. So the prodigal murderer writ. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and... A little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. 
It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet.